All right, today's challenge, no sliders, no gimbals, no hands. Today I am announcing the tripod only challenge and it's exactly what it sounds like. This means no epic handheld B-roll, no sliders, no jibs, no dollies, none of that stuff. This is all done on a tripod. The thinking behind this challenge is that if we add yet another limitation to how we make our videos, this ends up forcing us to get more creative and come up with new ways or learn new things that can actually make our videos better. So today I'll be shooting a spec ad for Philadelphia jalapeno cream cheese. I'm not sponsored or being paid by Philadelphia at all, but I do like your product. So if you're watching this, but with all that out of the way, I think it's about time we start the challenge. So let's get shooting. Now we're gonna start filming our intro and I'm just gonna give you an overview of our gear here. This is the Sony a7 III with the Laowa 60 millimeter macro lens. This light right here, this is the Lowell Ego LED. This is a desktop light, as you can see by the feet on the bottom here, but I actually have it mounted to a microphone boom arm stand thing to the desk. We've also got this little aperture MC light. This is gonna be used to create some ambience in our shots. And then of course we have our cutting board and the natural light coming through the window in the back. I think that looks pretty good. Actually, this pepper is kind of scratched up. I'm gonna see if I have a better one. All right, I'm back with more peppers, but also got some other ingredients that I can throw in the background for a little bit more depth. Now I'm also gonna put some appliances in the background so that it kind of looks like a kitchen. As you can tell, we're not in a kitchen right now, but we want it to seem that way. So a couple glasses and a champagne bottle in the back because why not? So here is what everything's looking like in place. And this is what the shot looks like. All right, the camera's rolling right now and we're just gonna leave it for about 20 seconds. Exactly, like that's just a bit slower. I think that was good. And then with your left hand, just reach in and grab it. Same setup, Laowa 60 millimeter. This is F2.8 and it's pretty close up. So it's gonna be quite the macro shot. My Apple pencil showed up, I'm excited to use that, but we'll save that for another day. And now what I'm gonna use is this glass of water as well as this straw right here. And if we dip the straw in the water and take our finger like that, we can actually make water droplets. So that's what we're gonna do right now and hopefully it goes well. All right, so I've got this white board here. This is gonna appear like it's a kitchen countertop and we're not gonna see the wood of the dining room table like we did in the pepper shot. And now we're gonna come in with this little Aperture MC light. This has a bunch of different modes and special effects. I'm gonna set it to the fire setting so that it kind of flickers this orangey hue. All right, now when we crossfade those two clips together, we should get something that looks a little dramatic and kind of funny, and hopefully that works out. Okay, so watching this little intro back that we just shot, I think it does get the point across, but it feels a little bit more like a concept rather than something that would be in an actual commercial. So just something to keep in mind when we're watching this is that it's not supposed to be perfect, it's more or less about the concept. Okay, so I think I got a shot of the pepper chopping in half that I like, and the next shot is gonna be more of a top-down angle. This shot's actually inspired by Joey Palmroos. I hope I'm saying that right. So pretty much if I'm understanding this correctly, what Joey did in his shot is he held the knife over the pepper and then rotated it over the slices, and then he keyframed in a horizontal slide in post. So that's what we're gonna attempt right now, and hopefully it works out. Damn, I actually kind of like that shot. Big shout out to Joey Palmroos for that idea. I think that was the one. So the idea for this shot here is that we have the camera pretty far away in the back. My hand will enter the frame and press down on this button slowly. And then in post, we're gonna track it so that it stays in the center of the frame. All right, so I've been struggling to come up with a way to transform this cream cheese, the original, into the jalapeno cream cheese. Not sure if it's gonna work, but only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go. Right 
here, I'm gonna film a little stop motion. I've already peeled this back and I'm gonna pretend it's shut. And then we're just gonna slowly peel this back bit by bit. All right, so the container is all taped down so that it doesn't move. Should I try? I think that might have looked cool. Okay, so the sun outside is going down, which means our shot, if we had the windows in the background, wouldn't look consistent with the rest of the footage. So what we're gonna do is shoot this last shot top down. And to simulate window light, we've got this little light once again, but it's on a more cool bluish hue. That way it looks similar to the light coming in through the window. And we'll just have that as a little kick off to the side and that should do the trick. All right, so that just about wraps up the shooting for this tripod only video. I haven't seen the final video yet because I haven't made it yet, but I'm gonna head to editing now, put it together and uh, play it for you now. So there you have it, the tripod only cream cheese commercial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it kind of cool. This was definitely an interesting challenge for myself, something different. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Three.